Hey guys, welcome back to Shambles. Today, um, I'm going to show you some things I found under my bed. What are these? Excuse me? What are these? These are <laughs> my emo combat boots from Converse. I bought these when I was in seventh grade for Halloween. They were $70. I bought them for $70 and I wore them once because I was a glow in the dork. Okay, so for Halloween, um, I wore these like ripped up jeans and like a white shirt with like spray paint, neon spray paint and like glow in the dark stuff on it. And I wore these and I called myself a glow in the dork. And I thought it was so clever because I was like a nerd because I went to science school and like I was just weird. So I called myself a dork. It just makes me so mad. But anyway, I found them. If anyone wants them, you should hit me up and I will sell them for like 30 bucks instead of 70. I found a box of cereal. I really like this cereal, but it probably has bugs in it now. My stuffed cat named Wilbur. I love this cat. I got this whenever I was like really, really little. And I named it Wilbur, and my dad used to tell me stories with it, so like I would hide under my blanket like a hill, and my dad would go, do 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 do, where's Shayla? And then he would find me and go, oh, there's Shayla, and then he would tell me a story with it. So like whenever my mom was pregnant with my little sister, he had a story where Wilbur's mom was pregnant with a little baby kitten, and whenever he found out, he would run around the house and then go, Fwah! because he was so excited. So there's Wilbur. A disco ball. <laughs> I found a disco ball under my bed. <laughs> Who else has a disco ball under their bed? So I got this when I was seven or eight because whenever I was about that age, I wanted to be Sharpay from High School Musical. And you know, in Bop to the Top, they had the disco ball and all that. And I was like, she would have a disco ball in her room. So with my money that I got for my eighth birthday, I went and bought a disco ball. And it honestly, it was great. It was definitely worth it. Lastly, I had the most embarrassing item. I have this. It has my fanfiction of One Direction in it from when I was in 7th grade. <laughs> well, treat you guys to the first chapter of it right now. So, here we go. It was 3 o'clock. The interview was supposed to start at 2.45 and I was getting anxious. Just as I was about to knock on the office door, a young man opened the door. Rachel Connors? The boy asked, gently pushing his brown curls out of his face. He looked familiar. That's me, I said, standing up to shake hands with him. He took my hand and shook while staring intently into my eyes. I felt as if he was reading everything he needed to know for the interview just from that look. He let go and pulled out a chair. I sat and he sat down across from me. So, he said, my name is Harry. To start off, why do you want to work in this music industry? <laughs> Don't mind my accent. Oh my gosh, it was Harry Styles <laughs> from One Erection or something. <laughs> that was besides the point. I needed to focus on getting this job. Not on his big green eyes and chocolate curls. Stop. <laughs> I love music so much. It's part of who I am and it's the one thing that makes me truly happy, I replied. He smiled, revealing dimples that made me happy. <laughs> the one thing that makes me happy. And then smiling and revealing dimples that made me happy. What? <laughs> um, Same here. I completely understand, he said. We received your application and resume and were extremely impressed. Do you have a preference to what band you assist in their travels? I shook my head. As long as I had exposure to the world of music, I was okay. Well, he smiled. We'll be glad to have you. And I speak for the entirety of One Direction. I can't talk with a British accent for a guy. Or at all. Ever. So, apologies. Thanks for watching, give it a thumbs up, and please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you later on Shambles. Bye!